Hey guys, I wanted to share with you the awesome finds that I got from Dollar General. I was so, so surprised at this. And let me know if you guys think this is a good deal. Do you see this set? This whole set, it says $10. Like, almost all of their seasonal stuff and like even presents um, from Christmas or whatever... I don't know if it's from Christmas. I don't know, but I paid five bucks for this whole thing. It was originally ten bucks, and they have like, um, like cart after cart or whatever you call those things of stuff that is fifty percent off and seventy five percent off. Sorry, my nose is itching. I couldn't believe this. I'm not real big on the lavender smell, actually. I know. Sorry if you can hear my son, but um, I do have that gift tote that I keep put back. And you guys, let me see if I can, for five bucks, this thing is, it's huge. And it has um, the loofahs, uh, the, the towel for your head, it has body butter, shower gel, and body scrub. Like, five bucks. You guys, go to Dollar General and check it out. Um, I originally went there because I was on the hunt for that carrot sign that everybody's hauling from Dollar Tree. Usually if I can't find what people are showing at Dollar Tree, I'll go to Dollar General and that's where it's at. But, just saying. But they didn't have a bunch of, like, Easter signs out. They have all kinds. If you are into fairy gardens, go there. They have, like, a whole aisle full of, like... Big ones that are only eight bucks, and then smaller packages that are only like from a dollar to three dollars. So, if you're into fairy gardens, I'm telling you, Dollar General is where it's at. This little sign was two bucks, kind of like eh, but I needed something to put inside my house, and it just the colors aren't showing up right, guys. But it is super cute. It was two dollars though. Just saying. And then I was super excited. I got some glue dots, and these were like 50 cents. They were in, um, well, at least they were in the thing that was 50% off because they were a dollar. So they could have been a dollar. They were supposed to be 50 cents, though. And then I got these face masks. This is a cucumber cooling peel off face mask. These were all a dollar, guys. And then Dead Sea Minerals and a charcoal and black sugar. These were all a dollar and I just, they feel like if you fill it, like they just feel like they are way better than the ones from Dollar Tree and they just look better. Not judging because I love my Dollar Tree. And then I found these cute little tin flower pots. This one says garden. And you guys, these were a dollar. They are smaller than the ones that they have at Dollar Tree. But I'm very happy to pay a dollar for this. This one says garden. And this one says welcome. And these were the only two that I seen. I didn't, they had stacks and stacks of them. And I didn't look through them very good like I just grabbed the first two that I seen were different but they were both a dollar what baby all right sorry you guys I had to pause it and I went and got me some coca-cola because my kids are driving me crazy they're either fighting and screaming or they want nothing to do with me and then as soon as I need 10 minutes or more to film a video to share my goods they won't leave me alone it's too late at night to drink any more coffee, so I figured I'd treat myself and make me a Coca-Cola. Alright, yes, yeah, so I got these two for a dollar each. I love these. They are so cute. I love the burlap on them. I think these are way cuter than the ones that Dollar Tree has, but they are a lot smaller. I wish that they didn't have anything on it and that I could label it myself, but maybe I could just stick another piece of burlap over that and write on like basil or mint or whatever. I have a DIY that I want to do um, using <laughs> some Dollar Tree products and making like a little herb garden, like a cute little one that you can keep in the house or whatever, but I haven't had a chance to do it or I just forget to get what I need when I'm there. 
All right, next I got these cute little unicorn pins, unicorn and lollipop pins. These were a dollar. How cute are those? I thought my daughter would really enjoy those. And since there is two of each, I'm going to keep the other two. And I also found these very pretty My Little Pony stickers. And I have a bunch of pony stickers, but I love these for my planners. And then they had these princess little um, felt stickers. These were a dollar two and 30 of them for a dollar. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Like it's got the little castle and the little crown. Look how cute those are. I love them. And one of the things that I was most excited, you guys, I bought this planner from Walmart and it goes from July to December 2017 and then January to July um, 2018. And I guess I didn't pay attention. It's I don't know, and it's bigger than like a normal size notebook, but they had really cute ones at Dollar General, you guys, and this was three bucks, and it's like a normal size planner, maybe just a smidge smaller, but it is just so cute, and it's all pale pink, and it has what I'm looking for. It's got the monthly and the weekly stuff. It's got places for notes. Where are the weekly? I know it did have them. And then that's what the weekly spreads look like. It's not coming up true to color. These are very pretty pale pink. But for three bucks. And they had this other really cute one. And it was a busy mom planner. It was a little bit bigger than this one. But it was so cute. And so um, I'm going to start doing planner videos. So that's kind of like why I'm getting more planner stuff. And look how cute these bags are, you guys. This was my favorite Valentine's Day print are these little hearts. You get two bags for a dollar, and this was 50% off at, at Dollar General. But how cute are those? And I really like these. Um, I figured if I don't use them, that I can cut them up and use them in the square blocks in my planner. And how cute would that be? I'm going to do like a little princess theme because I don't know why, but for some reason that's just like my favorite. And I also, um, broad, Broadway, Broadway, Broadway nails. These, um, I think they were like three bucks and then they had like a 10% off on some of the nails. But they are super cute black and white polka dot with a little bow. I just, they're so cute. And you guys, these are like my real nails coated with a bunch of glitter on them. But I wear these nails all the time. I'm to the point, though, as much as I spend in fake nails, because I do change them. Sorry if you can hear my kids. But I do change my nails. Probably, like, I wear them a week and then change them because I get tired of it. Just one second. No more fighting. But as much money as I spend in nails, because I buy them all the time, I think I'm going to start going and getting, like, a pedicure and a manicure and see, like, because I don't know. That probably wouldn't. I don't care if I bought a hundred nails, it'd probably still be cheaper just to buy the nails. Anyway, whatever. I kind of got lost there for a second. And I got this book, it was a dollar, and it says, The God of Yes. And, um, I just, I read the back of it, and it touched on a lot of good points. So, I really like, um... Anyway, I love, like, godly inspirational books. They are my favorite to read. Um, what Some of my favorite is Joyce Myers. I usually go to Walmart and buy, like, every book she's ever written. Um, How to Be a Better Mother was one of my favorite books. And um, How to Know God Better, that's... That's probably not the exact titles of either one, but that will get you to the right books. But those were my two favorite books from her. They were amazing. But yes, those are some of my favorite books. And I also found this little love sign. It was 50 cents because it was um, Valentine's Day, so 50% off. And I want to turn this into something. I don't know yet, but I want to I wanna do something to it. And the last thing I got was this cute little Easter bunny. I want to stake, um, stick it in my little um, flower pot outside. It's just cute. 
So that was everything from my little Dollar General haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. They had some really, really cute home decor. And, like, they had, like, knockoffs of the Bath & Body Works candles that had, like, the marble um, glass print or whatever you call it. They had some, they have such cute, like, home decor stuff. They had amazing pillows and blankets. And the, like, the farm style, um baskets they had wicker baskets they had wooden baskets they had wire baskets and you guys they were eight bucks and less for like the bigger baskets they were amazing just go check it out i promise you you won't be disappointed i was so surprised i'm surprised every time i go there but they have like some of the best like farmhouse decor i've ever seen and it's cheaper than anywhere else that you're going to go anyway i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and if you're not subscribed i would love it if you would join the little dollar tree family we have going on and i'll see you guys in the next one bye